Of course, the side of uh, John Howard here, they have the sky. The amount of flashes you get from this cheeky Australian is just crazy. <laughs> Speaking of cheeky Australians, shout out to the production crew. Y'all don't get enough love. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I called you cheeky. You heard me. <laughs> and of course, the agree. other Sam, you know, the less cool <laughs> Sam. She's Ooh, there too. You didn't have to do them like that. <laughs> I mean, I mean as I the get, superior I guess Sam, to. I have to. <laughs> but now looking over into mid we do see guiding light coming through into trees does not find any information so floco paranoia going to be used here nebula planted over where they are and still managing to find b magic mcconsty on site able to take out monster and already right away john howard are at such a disadvantage although manages to come on the crackback luke finds double kill and dm god gets one in between that so now two versus two and defenders up in heaven whilst the attackers are on site planting the spike just spike hanging planted. out behind generator down comes the hot hand directly on oh we're just dancing inside Ooh. the fire have you never played world of warcraft get out of it <laughs> oh, I felt like a reenactment of the movie happy feet. one enemy remaining <laughs> and as happy feet goes it ends off in a one versus one i think there's a dance battle in that and down dm god goes to crovex yes happy feet Ovation. ends up in a one versus one i i've definitely <laughs> seen that version of happy feet <laughs> That was the worst segue I've ever heard in my life, Jesse. Come on. I mean, <laughs> you're, you're better than one that. Okay? And I'm, <laughs> come on, I'm trying. <laughs> oh, bless you. You know what? Yeah, you try. You try. Good job. Alrighty. Heading on into round number two. Ovation with a very strong start here on their defense. Looks like Floco going to be stuck on that. Nah, 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 nah. He buys up. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. John Howard not going for that high risk, high reward play. They never really do. I think this might be the first time we're seeing John Howard lose the first pistol. That's actually quite That's big. That's actually interesting. I I'd love to see the exact statistics because their pistol rounds are very good. And now getting rid of the recon dart as well, whilst we see no sight of John Howard anywhere else on the map. Enemy but oh my word. A look at the amount of information that this Aldrone is about to get. Everyone just stomping through. And Krovex finds one, but gets clapped so hard on the second. As Luke also finds the ocean, John Howard rushing onto site with just classics and ghosts. Seems to be enough for them as we do see some market holds coming out from the defenders pushing through back onto the site. And McConstie, of course, coming in from the spawn side. But we do have Viper's utility just making things really difficult. Just, just as John picks oh. up, but everybody's looking at exactly yeah. where the Tailwind sent him. Joke's over. Can't see. The spike. Oh my word. Run it back, comes out, and Last player look at these standing. peaks. It's so difficult for McConsey to do anything, especially with Floco falling. Their teammate not able to make it. But <laughs> McConsey switches to the classic and finds another one to Luke. Still has to deal with both Peggy and Sky. We're going to see one possibly some trades. Peggy falls. <laughs> And oh, it's just one more in B magic, and these managers. No, everyone dies. Everyone yeah. dies. But of course, John Howard, even up one to one. Really good round from John Howard, especially considering that they went into that with full classics. I mean, yeah, you definitely take those. And off the back of that, they're going to be able to buy up to rifles in this round. And unfortunately, that means that Ovation, despite winning the very first round, of course, they bonused up bonus like they, they kind of bought up a little bit in the second round and because of that they're unable to buy in this round at all so they mm. have to save up if they want to be able to take that rifle battle in the next round this is john going to be running with a shorty holding a very close angle in tree we'll be hoping to pop some heads as the spike is kind of moving that way at the moment kind of sort of uh, i'm surprised floco's peeking out here knowing that Right now, John Howard, after winning that match from Classics, they do have, I mean, winning that round, sorry. They do have a full buy. This is John sitting here with a shorty, which we don't see too often anymore, but can be mm -hmm. extremely effective. Though nobody going to be pushing through Catwalk. Luke going to be pushing out, Guiding Light following as well, not finding any information. And that's two out of three Guiding Lights used from John Howard so far into the round. Trailblazer coming out and it's just going to be taken down by the classic in Floco's hands and it seems like the attackers do have to make something happen here as oh my word okay the curveball tries to make something happen but Nebula is going to be blocking out the sight lines for the defenders the magic finds this one to Provex and we do see the plant come out as well as the door being broken by the defenders trying to find a way back onto the side for the retake location revealed of the magic 
This is John heading back over to heaven. All defenders lining up there. McConsty finds the head of E-Magic with the Sheriff. And even then, I still feel like John Howard have such a big advantage here. Monster going to be peeking up with the Phantom, but everyone's oh, dropped down. Position has been revealed and oh does find a pick very quick flick over there. Peggy also finding one. one. Enemy remaining. Down we have Floco Go. It's all up to the Consti, but not too sure this player's gonna be able to do much. Just stranded on site right now. Hopefully you're gonna be able to get another pick, but doesn't look like Monster's gonna allow that to happen. Really, really good um post plant, I felt like. They took mm. really early control of the site. The one thing that did really concern me was Luke and Magic pushing in through A main. Now, you and I know that there's no one in Y because, like, mm. we, we see everything. But they, they don't <laughs> check that angle at all. Like, they don't clear it. They don't check it. They don't do nothing. That could have been such a massive detriment. That being said, they do come out on top. So luck is on their side once again. And they're going to use that opportunity and run with it. Round three, or rather round four, rifles across the board, as is want to happen. And that spike's going to be moving towards the A site, at least for the moment. And look at how stacked up the A site is at the moment. Pushing on there right. is going to be pretty, pretty deadly. Especially with the tripwire just holding the front, and no gesture on your team means that you can't really get rid of it. Although Trailblazer can get caught in it, but it's not really allowed to push that far up. This is John, the Phantom, just gonna be backing off, making some noise over here. And oh, Nebulas. Oh my word, just gonna be revealed by the Seekers as well as. Oh my word, just so much being applied, but this is John still finding picks. Be magic, spraying in through the smokes and gets the pick as well. Loco wants to push back and gets traded out after finding the head of Peggy. And it's up to just a single player on Ovation. Can Crovex make this happen? Does have the Hunter's Fury, but Fife is going to be used in a two versus one situation. But e Magic's life is so low, and DM God finds a pick onto Krovix. I mean, an absolutely massive commitment in that ultimate here, Nori, but it did net them the round, and they do still have another two ultimates ready to go off the bat for round number five. John Howard have been so good at those post plants. We saw it on, uh, on Icebox where like 90% of the rounds that they won on uh, on defense were retakes, where they waited yeah. until the spike had gone down and then they went in, cleared out the site and got the defuse. John Howard, however, or rather Ovation, don't seem to be having the same kind of luck here. And this is something that I mentioned a little bit earlier on Icebox for John Howard's attack, where I felt that like their post plants weren't really up to scratch. This is how I'm feeling about Ovation's retakes. They need to be trying to deny plants oh rather than trying to go in for retakes. Especially with the agents that they're currently playing with, I feel like Cypher's there to deny it, not retake it. And oh my, if Monster doesn't check this. Oh, what a lovely bait coming in from McConsty. And our Leosin has upgraded up to a Phantom. Game Gondor has to be careful of a push out here. Of course, turret is there to... Oh, no, that's not turret. That's an alarm bot. <laughs> We're racing over on that side. And here, the attackers are going to be sending it through to aid. This is John's going to be holding close with the shorty, but... We're going to see... That was a very good cage, actually. Stopping the curveball from getting any value. And now... Oh. This is John just making noise inside of the cage. Just moving in and out of it. Avoiding the curveball. But the attackers are just going to back off. Dear God. What a fantastic lurk. We see any sort of rotations in there. Actually, Trailblazer are coming back through. That's revealed. This is John. Caleb is the other side. Luke finds a pick, and oh, oh the short no. actually worked. Standing. Lots of damage onto the magic, <laughs> but not quite enough. Leosin goes for the res. Does have a phantom in hand as well. As much as John Howard get the plants, we have to see a retake happen again. There is a lot more health on the side of Ovation, and a cosmic divider on the side of John Howard. Leosin. Pushing up Peggy currently Last waiting in main, standing. but oh my oh, word, the jiggle peak works out. It's all up to McConsky, and we have seen some fantastic clutches from the Cypher. And there we go, picks up B Magic and finds Peggy as well. Better retake. Better than what we'd seen so far. But to be fair, that was a Close. very chaotic round. So yes. much utility used very, very it. early on in that round. McConsky with the 3 HP dream. I see. I like that they were able to clutch that one out oh, just based off of like 
slowing down the aggression. Now, that's one of the things where Phoenix gets a ton of value, of course, being a duelist, you know, dashing, not dashing, but uh, barreling straight onto site, I suppose. Uh, and they managed to slow that down significantly with a lot of utility, and that definitely helped things out. This is John. We've seen him back on that operator. He was devastating on Icebox. Be holding here in tree, which gives him full view of mid. So while the spike does appear to be moving towards the B site, oh okay. I thought he was gonna like wait there and then I when the rotation starts, he can get the kills. But okay, never mind. Oh, and Seek is being used really early to give away as to how many defenders there are on site and how many are offered, which means that there's only two defenders that need to be worked on. And none of the defenders actually shooting through the wall there. At least Luke falls. Peggy takes a picture of the being used, oh my word, the jump in from DM God. And he takes down Krovex and Peggy takes down McConsty. Even though we do have the magic falling, Leosin going to be pushing in through market. Just checking out mid in case there's anyone, any stragglers there. Luckily, we will have some assistance here. Wall's coming out and okay. Oh no, if you just kept shooting, DM God's so low. Try again, you're... You should run. Oh my. No matter how much you run. you're still... Okay, oh, does he find a kill into Team God? Oh, Leosin gets two and there's, there's not enough time for the defuse to complete. Oh my, they're going to be locked what down. Do you mean there's not enough time? <gasps> That's what oh, I mean, no. Oh no, the very no, last second. I was this. like... I was oh, like so confused from what the heck he was saying. That Why is he pushing? Such an amazing play from Monster. Knowing how much time is left on the spike, you're not messing around. I don't know why Monster pushes in there. I mean, you say knowing how much time is left. He he didn't. He was so unsure that he opts to push in just in case. Dies to the spike. But you know what? Like, you have to be certain. You cannot leave that up to chance at this point. Ovation really, really need to start making things happen here. We're actually going to see McConstie buy up a little bit. Gets to a rifle. The rest of the team, however on such an awkward spot as John Howard are starting to run away a little bit with this map and if the previous map was anything to go by Ovation should definitely be worried at this point yeah and interestingly this, this wasn't the first round where absolutely everybody in the server died so <laughs> of course where we do have McConsey buying up to the Vandal if they are going to get picks it does very much hurt the economy of John Howard's attack, and regardless of that, run it back is in hand, and oh my word, Nori, look how deep they are pushing through this mid, making noise in market, trying to force a rotate out of A, but we actually see three players just steadfast, holding on, which is perfect yeah. for what's about to happen here. Luke, what is mid control? Loco, making They were noise. not Luke. expecting that. I mean, why would they expect that? That's the most ridiculous rotation that they could have made. Look, 3k. Yeah, that, that oh, yeah. was absolutely insane. You have to have someone watching me, especially on a map like this. One enemy remaining. I mean, maybe you're not like holding mid necessarily, yeah. like having a massive presence, but there needs to be something like a cam, a trip wire, just an alarm bot, depending on what your what agents you're playing, like just something. And instead, they completely give it up for free. Less and now has to try and clutch things out. Is not able to. And that's another round given over to John Howard, purely off the back of not having any sight on mid. I mean, that's a massive misplay from Ovation. And I mean, I was talking about how McConsty often puts up the trips. We're seeing it mid again. And I'm actually not sure if we had one up on mid last round, because of course, buying to the Vandal, I don't even know if there were any trips. Each of those are 200 credits. So either McConsty didn't place one or it went off, but they didn't really pay attention to it directly. Yeah, unfortunately, that is the price you pay the for not uh, being aware of what's going on. You know, watch their surroundings. So, oh, beautiful. Gonna scatter the forces a little bit. Not really gonna get any picks, but again, it does Standing slow ahead. things down a bit, buys them a little bit of time. And of course, it gives the information that, for the moment at least, there are people possibly. Oh, my Lewison oh. wasn't watching main when monster pushes up and sure Krovex oh, oh no the shark darts aren't finding anything at all and the amount of utility that's now being used by evasion sova 
Oh, oh my word, but the rotates up in mid. Floco finding DM God. And we see Krovix over on B managed to get a pick onto Monster. This is John. Gonna be waiting over in trees, but we do have run it back. Curveball gonna be used, but nobody's watching this. And no, just as John doesn't manage to find a pick just yet, but could potentially push up onto where Luke's body is outside of the run it back. And that's exactly what's gonna happen is getting a nice oh my goodness, Luke no. him. <laughs> but of course, we'll start two players from John Howard are there. We don't see anyone going into the astral plane at the moment. The magic does peak, and we actually have just as John close it out with the 2k. Oh, you love to see a knife kill. Oh my goodness. I wish I could have had like a replay of that because obviously it didn't really happen on screen. I just got to see it happen in the uh, the kill feed, but we, we, we do love seeing that happen. And a solid round from Ovation. This was exactly what they needed to start getting, building up a little bit of that momentum again. Now they haven't completely busted up John Howard's economy, but they've done a fair amount of damage. Unfortunately, John Howard, because they, they only won two rounds in a row. So they didn't manage to build up a proper economic buffer. So here we're going to be seeing them saving up. And they're coming up again against these rifles and three ultimates. Now the Neural Theft, we've actually seen how potent the Neural Theft can be for giving that information, for helping to lock down a site. And then of course the res. I mean, you know how powerful that is. So John Howard, they're going to be looking to maybe work off the back of the viper's pit possibly push out onto site drop that viper's pit get that spike down try and hold it down as far as they can but of course probably not gonna be pop okay they pop an ultimate in an eco round i mean we do see john howard perform extremely well on these echoes and oh my word floka pushing up into a main as soon as the players start I'll pushing in through trees which means that Cosmic about or not, they're actually trapped themselves and Floco with a 4k on round number 9. Yeah, anti-eco. I, I was really taken aback that we saw the Cosmic Divide get dropped there. I was confused, actually. Uh, unfortunately, they do opt to invest that ultimate into an eco, which makes it a fairly expensive round. They're able to buy up now, and they're still going to have that Viper's Pit, but Ovation doing really well here to start pulling their way back in. It's the first time they've been able to string two rounds back, back on this map. They've been doing fairly well with their retakes, but not as well as they could be doing. And with still those three ultimates available, of course, they didn't need to use them the previous round. It was anti eco Very seldom that you it's actually pop ultimates in that. Oh, absolutely, but statistically, John Howard... Uh, I mean, I don't have the statistics, but I, I assume so. Their, their <laughs> save rounds have been very potent. I mean, we've seen them win quite a few up against rifles. But now the big thing to talk about is actually the I've magic kill of the trial. Seekers. And this means that pushing in, they'll know exactly where the defenders are holding. And actually down. backing off, knowing that, hey, there's quite a few players here. Let's head over to B, where we do have Krovix, who could be caught out by Monster. Heavily dependent on who peaks first or what happens with this dart. Oh, it, go. it goes deep. Yeah, yeah. Which means that monster could still get the peak of their life. Because they've doubled back. Comes in. Yeah. Yeah, they've doubled back. They're already back on the A site now. They were just kind of using a little bit of utility, baiting it out a bit. They actually managed to force a rotation to mid because Ovation don't want to make that mistake oh, no. again. Left. Oh, no, Krovex. You have to oh. see this. Okay, Krovix is aware of it. All these jiggle peaks do give away Monster's location. And of course, everyone pushing on to A now of John Howard. This is John missing this a shot, but managed to at least shoot through. Black Pit is remaining. currently there. Make it three picks for This is John. And oh, oh no, they're reloading. He's got the classic. Wow, so oh my goodness. That dash literally, like the tailwind, saves his life at the very last second mm. there. And then, of course, the rest of his team pops up. But to hold down the site. I talk about how Killjoy is really good for holding down a site. Nah, just, just, you know, just stick this as John there, give him a rifle, and you're good to go. You can just pretend that site doesn't exist anymore, I guess. A really, really solid round there. I mean, that wasn't even, like, strategic play. It wasn't, like, super good retake positions. It was just John go burr. <laughs> Absolutely, and I was actually going to uh, criticize this as John for missing a lot of these sprays that we've been seeing lately and at least this time worked out wonderfully for this jet player of evasion and of course going over to mid once again there is a trip oh 
Everyone's at a bit of a crossroads here from just standing in the... Oh, this is John down to 50 HP thanks to the marshals. And we're going to see players pushing through once again. This is John. He does have the peak, but that's all five of them currently in the storm. There's a crossfire. Down Coco goes. But oh Spike my! Down. Just ender spawn. Ah. One Only enemy one player remaining. left. Peggy not able to do much there thanks to Crovex on the peak. But I I'm actually surprised John Howard even Last got three kills off of half. that. Yeah, I mean, that's somewhat unprecedented. But again, I mean, it was, it was all five of them. Like, you can only aim at so many people at a time. So, mm. invariably, when you're peeking separate angles, somebody at some point is likely to get a pick. But three? Pretty good for an eco round. Uh, they managed to push their way all the way through mid. And I love that there was a nice angle, a nice uh, double peak or a, or a crossfire set up from Ovation to make sure that as soon as they started pushing out of mid into the spawn well that they're just gonna get rinsed through now evasion have four ultimates available they've just just popped a blade storm and operate a, a very deep angle here in mid because again don't want to give up that mid control john howard they are able to buy up rifles but it's the last round and the half they need to win this one if they want to tie it up Oh, monster taking a bit of damage through the wall there. Krovex doing a good job on the server. You should run. As you were saying, with the player over in mid, it does make it a bit of a collapsing situation for the attackers. Barrier up coming out, a slow up going to be following through as lockdown right now. Game God finds Krovex and. Oh my! Oh, you're locked down! Worth. Worth. John Howard. Only two players. This is John holding the operator over in market, but we do see. Right now, B-Magic pushing up mid and... Oh my. Uh -oh. If there's a pick here, a flick. But no shots just yet. Didn't actually get hit by the daggers even once from the Blade Storm. And this is John the Operator could pick. He'll just go for a peek here and get monsters. There's actually two players there. Dark cover left. from the defenders, interestingly enough. But 20 One seconds left. And there's the shot onto B-Magic. Monster falls down to Floco. And that little duck sound he made was a perfect, accurate representation of the kill. <laughs> Switching sides. <laughs> Yes, um, <laughs> the three kills on the defense there, and then get stuck in a lockdown, worth, like, yeah. Leoson, you take that every day of the week. Yes, I will trade myself for three enemy players every single day. Uh, that was fantastic, the rinse through again, it was like, it was great work from Leoson to use the wall, then the slow orb, and everybody funnels in, and uh, we've spoken about funnels a few times, when you funnel through, when you line up, you're basically donating kills to the enemy team. So Ovation managed to come into the half with a 7-5 lead. Oh, things are really starting to heat up here. I wonder if we're going to see that map 3. Still got to get through the second half, but, I mean, this is really anyone's map. Oh, and this is something we've seen before. I'm quite sure this is actually from uh, the Korean region. Where we do have the graphitic well as well as the hot hands that are used over near the orb on A main. And there you see it come out, but nobody there to really get baited into it. This is strong. Gonna be pushing up super aggressively. He does find the head oh, wow. of monster as we see a push in through to window. And a wall gonna be blocking out the defender's push onto A heaven, which means that right now Luke is more alone than you would think, or even Peggy for that matter. Does find a headshot. Hoping to get some more, but double peek. Make it triple peek. Quad peaked. Can you survive it? Oh, oh you can't. Because D-Magic finds two off of the back of that. And at least equalize this thing. Two versus two trailblazers are coming out. The Osin is discovered and stunned. D-Magic has to be very careful. Remaining. Right now is Oma with the Osin with the right click on the classic. And Floko covers it out. And gets the plant as well. What a messy round. I, I love the pistol rounds in this tournament. Mm. Like, they've been so chaotic, but they're so much fun to watch. Uh, I love that aggressive push really early on from John to, like, get all the way up into heaven. The fact that Monster wasn't able to actually get that pick, because he spots this is John really early, but first they have to break the glass. And in the interim there, John actually manages to, like, turn around, get that kill off, and... Uh, once they'd had control of heaven, it was really easy to get onto site and then take control of the rest. Now we see them buying up a little bit. Floco, in fact, is going to be rocking a ghost. Didn't buy up. So wants to make sure that he can buy as many of his abilities as he possibly can and still be able to buy up in the next round, assuming they win this one. We've seen John Howard do more interesting and wondrous things on uh, on their pistol rounds. And 
bearing in mind, this is the second time that we are seeing John Howard not winning the first pistol in a round. Pretty big. Yeah, and both of these occasions happening over on Ascent, and oh, what a fantastic shot of Cypher here currently inside of his cam. Interestingly enough, for the attacker's innovation right now, they're going to see that B-Site is completely open. <laughs> However, slowly, but their spike right now is just sitting over in spawn, and we do see movement over to B, so... Right now, for the defenders, I mean, they need to start moving. They don't have range on their side. And Blocking even sight. then, Ovation not nah. even on the E side yet. Oh no, this is a fairly common strategy. So when you're on an eco round, you'll kind of hedge your bets on one side because you know you have a massive gun disadvantage. 30 seconds left. If they push that site, you're able Spike to like planted. swing on, in, on one another, try and get a couple of pickoffs because it's your eco. If they don't push that site, you move to get okay you fan out yeah uh and again the idea is to try and swing off one another to try and get some value but ovation they know this strat they don't want to allow that value to come through so they've also pushed out quite far john howard is just gonna find themselves funneling into crosshairs yeah i really love the placement of the camera coming in yeah, yeah. Everyone in John Howard falls there, but McConstie's camera up in mid, allowing for Krovex to peek and find the perfect time to find a pick onto Luke. And then following that, of course, we do have the rest of John Howard just crumbling to the post plant coming in from Ovation. Now, that was a big round win for Ovation because. Well, they needed to string two rounds together, and we're getting dangerously close to that double-digit territory. Well, John Howard, bearing in mind, are going to be able to buy up rifles in this round, but their defense is going to be so, so important. We spoke about how their defense was lackluster on Haven in the very first series, and now we're seeing something oh very, word. very this similar. Yeah, I mean, ridiculous. Okay, Pushing up so just, quickly, just... getting two off of us, and now Luke must be a little bit scared as just okay, finds a third. Uh, jet players, please take note. Go back on this and watch how this is done, please. Oh my word. Yeah, so everyone else, go back and watch John Howard uh, and realize that that's not how you do it. Ouch, Nori. I mean, <laughs> solo peeking the jet, like, you can't get too confident just because you have the gun advantage. And as soon as John gets that first pick off, you just oh, continue solo peeking. All right, Monster holds a really good angle here, but... Who oh, doesn't expect does a second? Not... Yeah, unfortunate there. <sighs> Peggy, however, it's gonna be waiting. Knows that there's players here. I mean, I can't win the round, but could potentially deal a lot of damage. Don't peek! Don't peek! Don't peek! Oh, Ooh! peek! I mean, <laughs> nothing, oh, nothing for the scoreboard, but still uh, exciting to watch. <laughs> a gun away it's something it doesn't do anything to the economy but yeah <laughs> i was somewhat expecting john to pick up an operator there because they can afford it but i actually like that they've opted not to pick up an operator on the attack meanwhile monster we've seen what he can do with an operator we've seen what he can do with a marshal so he's gonna be picking up that marshal once again as this is of course another eco round and ovation poised to take this round as well that would put them on 11 points, Jesse. This is... I, I was not expecting this. I was expecting John Howard to put up much more of a fight on this map. Oh, it is their map pick after all. And it seems like it's a recurring theme for this tournament where if it's your map pick, you're not going to be winning it. This is John Lee Lewis and both going to be finding picks. Just there's some waiting over in the fridge. And Luke, hot hands at least, going to be dealing some damage as we do see Monster getting the pick from top mid as well. Peggy... Oh! does have oh no the phantom but krovix just runs through and takes monster down area. three versus two and as we're seeing once again when we when we give john howard a chance they can keep pressuring it but not too much happening in the way of spike planted putting this round on the board two versus three and it looks like we are going to be seeing an attempt at the side. Krovix oh. manages to see the shoulder and actually the headshot. Not even a wall bang there. And Floco finds Luke and just fundamentally bad peaks there coming in from John Howard. <laughs> that was kind of a theme for like two rounds in a row. 
Um, and it's a little unfortunate to see, but Ovation taking full advantage of those slight misplays. Now, this is the all-important round. Wait, hold up. Look at the streak from Ovation. Two, four, six, eight, nine rounds in a row? Yep. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So this is round five. This is where momentum shifts tend to happen fairly often. And it needs to for John Howard. Because if it doesn't, we're on match point. And even with the losing streak bonus, they should be able to buy up. But they don't really have a lot to work with right now. They have Seekers. Uh, and Ovation still have three ultimates available. This is a key, key round for John Howard. Oh, and already having monster fall. That's all of your post plant retake just taken away I from you. And I mean, monster also had a lockdown ready to go, but that's spike the spike B. for John Howard. Cover going down. Which changes oh. things greatly. I mean, no, they're just going to back off from it. And DM God trying to get back to the site just falls. Why they're not playing around the spike that they just saw fall. I mean, with only two players, they oh, they're elephanting. Oh no! One enemy oh, remaining. Isn't even gonna, not even gonna notice his downfall. This, this is John going to try to peek up onto Peggy as well, and the re peek not quite working out. Match point for oh. Ovation over here to tie it up one to Match one. Point. Let's see if they can do it, or if John Howard can have a miraculous run back to put it into overtime. Oh, and it looks like I completely misread the situation, even with the losing streak bonus, not able to string together a decent buy. Two rifles, a judge, a sheriff, and a specter is all John Howard have to play with. Jesse, I think we got a map three. I, I, I'm not one to count my chickens, but like, these chickens are crowing. They want to be counted. Wow, they, they don't find the pick on speed magic. Who manages to get a pick anyways? Oh my. Oh. DM God, taking down the ocean, but Floko's already on site. Monster, Finished. hiding, gets one a player. Remaining. Good job, a second one as well. Krovix falls, and John Howard definitely posed to start a comeback. But I'm not too sure how long this can stay going. Does manage to see oh Peggy, my but goodness. Peggy gets a shot first, and... How did they not get the pick on to be magic there at the start? That was everything fell apart right after that. I mean, all right. Well, I've learned my lesson. No more chicken counting. <laughs> <laughs> and by chicken counting, of course, I mean cast the cursing. Um, the flash was good. So V Magic finds himself in a very, very dangerous situation. Pops the flash. Now, usually you see the spray down come through because, like, you saw where he was going. Uh, the spray down doesn't actually come until after the flash starts to dissipate. And at that point, B-Magic's already found one and, of course, given away all of the information. So it's quite clear where the push is coming through and the trades come back and forth. But now, see, the thing is, John Howard, as much as they were able to win that round, they're on perpetual magic point here. They need to string together rounds in a row to try to get this just into overtime. So they drop the Viper Pit over on the A site. Oh, a very strong teamwork. hold in mid. And I mean, there. Beautiful work. Yeah, and oh, just before the Viper's Pit was about to fall, DM God. Demi God, for that matter. Getting back into it. And they're constantly trying to find where Luke is with the camera. But Luke is probably going to see McConstey first. I mean, the decay is doing a lot to the cipher. Oh, and. I mean, Luke must be hearing that camera, right? Oh no, it's not going to be expected. McConstey gets taken oh. out by Luke, and now John Howard, two players that they've managed to take down on Ovation, which does make it a lot more difficult. Team God not playing inside of the pit anymore. Floco needs to peek. The magic is there. Floco gets the kill, but Krovex left. has fallen. So now, having to run through the nebula, Floco does see Peggy, oh. but just, just foot right through onto B site where Monster is currently holding Shadows the back of sight. And it looks like we actually got some vision from the defenders over on player pushing B main. Ten seconds Turret left. from Monster uh -oh. is going to find something and there's absolutely that no time at all. Standing. Monster needs to get the pick and that's exactly what they do. And Leosin actually going to be going for the save. And oh my word, I don't want to curse it, but John Howard managing to take back a 10 round streak to manage to put two on the board.
I know what a really good under pressure. This has been incredible stuff. Oh, John is done. This is John specifically. <laughs> John's in this Operator game. Operator time. Hey, boy, on the attack as well. I mean, talk about high risk, high reward plays. But again, it's match point. And they're just like, can we get this done? Three ultimates online here for both teams. There's a run it back available for Luke. And you kind of highlighted how much value he tends to get with those run it backs. We'll see how much information he can get here. Because again, actual match point. Every single round is do or die. Yeah, I think from Ovation here, they're able to spend up because they know that they are currently five rounds ahead of John Howard. That means that you need to have five rounds of managing the economy, My keeping destroyed. yourself from having players fall for five rounds in a row just to get into overtime. Luke, hot hands is used, no both curveballs are used, blaze is used, and here we have the Hunter's Fury whilst Floco takes down B Magic over in mid, which means that they know exactly where players are playing Peggy Falls and John Howard looks like their chances of keeping this from a third map off slowly but surely floundering as right now the attackers innovation actually slowly but surely backing off we just have an omen and Floco who's managed to use the from the shadows to get to heaven Luke is gonna be losing his head to Floco's crosshair place monster oh! up the spike getting there but what a follow-up from a constant just a split second before Monster was absolutely out of there. Spike planted. Oh, dear God. Just waiting to find a way to push through this. Make some noise inside of the cyber cage. It's really unfortunate. Tries to spray it down, but not able to find anything. Has to back off and gets revealed as well. Here we have Ovation managing to.